Hello and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I will explain the reason of radio interference of MPPT charge controllers. I guess everyone is familiar with these MPPT solar charge controllers or for wind turbines by the way as well. Um, but did you know that all these controllers are a wide range radio transmitter? Yes, they are. And it doesn't matter which one you choose. It's not by manufacturer, it's by technology. Of course, many, some manufacturers interfere a bit more than the other ways or the other ones. But anyhow, every single MPPT charge controller is a wide range radio transmitter. And that could be an issue. Uh, for example, if you use that um, controller for charging the batteries of your boat, where you have some uh, radio communication as well, or if you use it for an emergency communication kit, then it could be a massive issue, or for radio repeaters, remote controlled technologies, remote controlled receivers, or maybe even some industrial manufacturers having very sensitive sensors in their production process, and uh, it's forbidden to use a cell phone nearby, but the solar panel and the charge controller at the rooftop could be maybe an issue in that case as well. So before we uh, talk about the uh, preventing of all these uh, noise, I will give you a short overview and a short example of uh, that, how it sounds and how it looks like on a spectrum. And now you see on a spectrum a very wide range of all these interference points and it sounds like this. Yeah, back again, I guess you have an idea about the sound um, of this noise and I guess you recognized uh, the uh, markers on a spectrum. So it's on a very wide range and sometimes they're shifting a bit, they're wobbling a bit, changing the frequency and this of course could be a massive issue. Anyhow, it's very easy to reduce that noise. The first step should be to twist the line that goes through the solar panel. Why we should do it that way? Well, most of the noise um, is transmitted by the line from the charge controller, in that case uh, connected over here, through the solar array or through the solar panel. This power line is a kind of wide range antenna. So we have to reduce the efficiency of these antenna. And we do that by um, twisting that cables. And we should use minimums 15 turns per meter or 15 turns um, per three feet. Then that reduces the noise by far. And that's very easy to realize. The next step should be to use this kind of um, core, ferrocore. Um, I will put an, uh, a link into the description below where you find some more information about these core and how you can buy them. And um, I, I produced that uh, RF trap, this wide range RF trap out of this uh, massive core and this uh, cable from loudspeakers. Why I choose in that case this loudspeaker uh, cable? Well, the, the loudspeaker cable um, has, um, uh, it has a very high efficiency on high currents and this is for a 12 to 24 volt system and there we have high currents and it's very flexible and therefore very easy to use. May, uh, if you have a system with very high voltage and low current, then of course you should choose a different cable. Anyhow, in my case I use that one and uh, I uh, turned the choil of that like or manufactured the choil like this. If you have some questions about that, please let me know and write it down into the uh, comments. And um, then after we manufactured that one, we have to connect it directly, uh, as close as we could do, to the MPPT charge controller. And the reason why we should do that because it redu reduces the length of the antenna. In our case, only that small piece of wire is the antenna compared to the few meters before to, through the solar panels. Because this um, this RF choke um, yeah, blocks nearly all the interference. Of course, not everything and not on a very whole frequency range, but in a range of, I would say, maybe a one uh, megahertz up to 100 and 150 megahertz. If you uh, should block higher frequencies, maybe you have to add a different choil as well. Um, so we have to connect it directly to the NPPT controller. And as the next step, of course, we should use the uh, 
twisted coax cable. Excuse me, the twisted solar cable. It's not a coax cable, but uh, a twisted cable. By the way, you can use a coax cable, but should be very stable as well to feed your solar panels. Anyhow, um, with these both things, you will reduce the noise by far. Most of the time, maybe 80 up to 100%. Uh, if you still have some noise over there, maybe you can discuss it with the manufacturer of these um, charge controllers, large manufacturers having some kits in some cases to reduce that once uh, for special circumstances. And also you can add a kind of metal case, grounded metal case around the controller and that will reduce the noise even more. Anyhow, um, if you has, have any questions, please let me know. So far, so good. Have fun and stay safe. See you next time. Thanks for watching.